Now on Good Morning Northwest, police shoot a man on the outskirts of a Shadle Park High School baseball game. A live report with new details released overnight. And of course, we're going to be seeing some sunshine, no showers. It's going to be a great way to wrap up the week. Your full forecast is coming up. And breaking overnight, Israel carries out strikes inside Iran. What we're learning about the scope of the attack. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. And we begin with breaking news this morning. Sounds of a basketball bouncing turning into sounds of gunshots. A father and son rushing inside to safety. These peaceful family moments interrupted by gunfire at Shadle Park High School where police shot a man. It all started near Loma Vista Park on North Lindicky Street. SPD says a man with a gun threatened a tow truck driver who was trying to repossess his car. Police tracked him down and chased him to the Shadle Park High School parking lot on Longfellow Avenue right next to the running track where student athletes were training until the terrifying moment the shooting began. Our Allison Martinez is live there this morning. Allison, what are you learning as families are getting ready to take their kids to school? What exactly can they expect? Good morning. In the last hour, police have cleared out of this area right by Shadle Park High School. Families shouldn't expect to see any closures as they make their way through this area. Now, as families wake up this morning, they are no doubt shaken up by this incident. Now, this happened in this parking lot right here. Police chased a man and eventually shot him. He was armed with both a gun and a knife. Now, this parking lot is right next to the practice field that you see see there where students were actively practicing at the time. Now we have learned new information overnight, including more about the man who was shot. The man has a previous felony and is legally prohibited from carrying or possessing a firearm. In addition, late last year, he was involved in a shooting here in Spokane where he unlawfully fired a gun. This man is undergoing surgery for life-threatening gunshot wounds. We also know that three police officers fired their weapon during the chase. All three officers will be placed on administrative leave. Now the Spokane Independent Investigative Response Team is taking over the investigation. This is the fifth shooting in 2024 so far. That is just four months and we've already surpassed the total amount from last year's shootings. We'll be sure to bring you more information as soon as it becomes available. Reporting live in Spokane, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now. Allison, thanks so much for the update. All right, let's get to Mark with our first alert forecast. Blue sky is awaiting you, but it is a chilly blue sky. We're sitting at 34 degrees, uh, winds to 8 miles an hour. We'll see those winds gusting in excess of 2025, so make sure that you're dressed appropriately. Grab the shades. You'll need them. The four things you need to know is that, uh, again, sunshine and breezy all day today. Beautiful tomorrow. Um, we're going to see showers coming in Saturday night, uh, probably around bedtime into the early morning hours of Sunday and then after that passes it'll be a drier and cooler period. Now we look at the active radar and it is just snow showers in around Missoula. So we see that along I-90 as you come in through St. Regis. Um, nothing major there. It's the light but still it's winter. Uh, 31 it's spring but it's really winter there. Uh, 31 into downtown 37 to Liberty Lake. Our forecast today again sunny conditions breezy northeast winds and 56 for the high. We are tracking more breaking news this morning. A U.S. official confirms an Israeli strike caused explosions in Iran this morning. That action comes hours after Iran warned it would retaliate in response to such an attack. Iran says it could even revise its nuclear policies if Israel threatens its nuclear centers. We'll have more details on this developing situation coming up in just a little bit. And right now, close to 500 Providence healthcare workers are set to strike Monday in hopes of receiving a contract with better pay and benefits. The union representing the employees says Providence responded with unattractive offers, including reduced health and dental benefits. One bargaining team member also says Providence engaged in unfair and illegal negotiations. Providence's CEO says this is simply not true.
Well, the owners of a dog who was attacked in the Kendall Yards area are asking for help with their vet bills. Now this here is Coco, a one-year-old German Shepherd that broke her leg trying to protect her owner Tuesday evening near West College Avenue. According to Spokane Police, Coco and her 17-year-old owner were out for a walk when two other dogs ran out of a house and attacked them. The girl's father came out with a handgun and shot one of the attacking dogs. An emergency vet clinic then euthanized that dog. Now, Coco's family has created a GoFundMe to help cover her vet bills. Another sign of recovery for a town devastated by wildfire. The town of Malden broke ground for a new community center. The Bab Road Fire, Labor Day of 2020, destroyed 65 homes and most of the buildings in the Malden area. Once this center is complete, Mayor Dan Harwood hopes it'll give the people of Malden a place to come together. In our community event center is is a little more special because uh, it houses our library, our food bank. The community center is for everyone from four years old to 91. And Mayor Harwood says this is the last and most important building they need to rebuild. And we want to remind victims of the Gray and Oregon Road fires, you have until tomorrow to apply for FEMA assistance. FEMA encourages anyone wanting to apply to visit the disaster recovery centers in Medical Lake and Elk. For more information on assistance, visit KXLY.com. Look for this story on our front page. Your Good Morning Northwest time right now is 6.06. Mark is back and we are talking about what you can expect as you're getting yourself and the kids out the door this morning. Hot cup of coffee, a little bit of cooking action, and it's chilly outside. Make sure to wear some layers, but maybe sunscreen today? Make oh, certainly sunglasses. Like yeah, look, look at, at sun. that. Oh, nice. come on now. Take a look at your TV. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Full check of your forecast coming up. And a good reason to make sure you completely scrape the frost off your windshields. The dash cam video from Kootenai County just ahead. And more than 100 people arrested on the college campus. Up next, the protest at Columbia and why there were so many arrests. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Ritter's Garden and Gift. Damn straight. Scotty McCreary is spreading his fresh take throwback country to Coeur d'Alene Casino Thursday, May 2nd. Get your tickets now for one of country music's biggest stars. The is just the beginning. With Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo, you can pick up the tab even when you forget your wallet. I got this. Fargo, send Kaz $145 to sell. Smooth. Want faster, easier banking? You can with Wells Fargo. What else can Fargo do? Oh, come on, come on. Fargo lets you do this. Fargo, turn off my debit card. I found it. I found my card. And also this. Fargo, turn on my debit card. Do you, Fargo? You can with Wells Fargo. It's the spring tune-up event at Cal Cars in Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene, where we are giving away $600 of free upgrades with every vehicle sold, like custom grills, light bars, and wheels, so you can customize your ride this week in Cal. Recipe for a fun night? Spam musubi. With a side of friends. Sizzle, pork, and mmm. It's a vintage sale like no other. Custer's 49th Annual Spring Antique and Collector Sale this Saturday and Sunday at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center. Dealers from across the Northwest will be selling everything from rare to retro. With thousands of unique items and so much variety, the fun is in the find. Single day admission, $8. Tickets on sale now at CusterShows.com. Custer Spring Antique and Collector Sale this Saturday and Sunday at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center. Presented by Jim Custer Enterprises. The Honda you want is here, so drive in the moment with the versatile CRV or Accord. Both named a Car and Driver 10 Best. And when you drive a Honda, you're driving with the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Tesla's bluesy and soulful sound is still roaring and soaring live at the Coeur d'Alene Casino Thursday, July 25th. Get your tickets now for one of the 80s hottest bands. The winning is just the beginning. 
At 6.09, here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. The FBI is on alert for any potential threats to the Jewish community ahead of the start of the Passover holiday Monday. Speaking to a group of nationwide security officials, the FBI director is concerned lone actors could target large gatherings, high-profile events, or symbolic or religious locations for violence. Also saying the FBI has observed homegrown violence, a surge in hoax threats against Jewish facilities, and a range of threats from abroad. New York police officers arrested more than 100 people at Columbia University yesterday. It was the second day of demonstrations on and off Columbia's campus in Upper Manhattan. Demonstrations in support of the Palestinian people continued throughout the day and into the night at Columbia's main entrance. At moments leading to violent confrontations with counter-protesters and subsequently more arrests. Tense moments on the House floor Thursday with far-right Republicans essentially pinning their party speaker Mike Johnson to the back wall. It's over a threat from Johnson to use the already contentious foreign aid votes expected this weekend as a vehicle to raise the number of votes needed to throw him out as speaker. House Freedom Caucus members are against both the change and the tens of billions of dollars for aid in Ukraine. Speaker Johnson suggests the timing for the weekend votes would be as early as Saturday. 10 minutes past 6 o'clock. It's Friday. Hey, welcome to the end of the week. Uh, cool and clear morning. We got that. Grab a jacket or some nice layers, shades as well. It's going to be sunny in 56. We'll take a look at this damp dash cam footage of a person crashing into a Kootenai County Sheriff's Office patrol vehicle. The deputy tried to avoid the car, but caused him to crash into that pole. Now, no one involved in that crash was seriously injured, thankfully. Idaho State Police determined the other driver was at fault. They were cited for failing to yield with and driving with an obstructed window due to frost on your car. Yikes. Let this be a good reminder mm. as we finish out the wind, uh, kind of frosty mornings mm -hmm. here, hopefully. Scrape, Always scrape it off. All the way. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, Northwest Time is now 6-11. Breaking overnight, Israel retaliates against Iran. Right after this break, the newest information on the war in the Middle East. And a little later on Good Morning Northwest, U of I murder suspect Brian Koberger's attorneys presented his alibi to a judge this morning. Reaction from one of the murder victim's families about it. That statement coming up. Man. I can take real good care of you. See? Works perfectly for you, right? At Craig Swap and Associates, we don't get paid until you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Considering selling your RV? R&R wants it. Tired of paying storage fees? R&R needs it. Just don't use it anymore? R&R will buy it. Due to a critical shortage of pre-owned RVs, R&R RV is currently paying our absolute top dollar for your used RV. Any year, any make, any model, turn your RV into cash or flip it for a newer model. So if you no longer use it or want it, let R&R RV buy it. Visit the R&R RV Superstore in North Spokane or call Ryan at 509-244-5888. It's one of the best times of the year to give your home an upgrade with some fresh new looks during the Spring Storewide Savings Event at Walker's. Come see the new styles that just arrived. Plus, take advantage of all last year model closeout and clearance items up to 70% off with five years special financing available and no money down. It's the perfect time to furnish your life for less and add some comfort and style to your home during the Spring Storewide Savings Event at Walker's. It's the once a year spring tune up event this week at the Cal Superstores in Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene. Hi, I'm George, and I'm offering great deals on over 300 of the best rigs in the region. And this weekend, when you purchase a vehicle from Cal, you can get up to $600 in free upgrades, like light bars, custom grills, or tires and rims to customize your ride, making it the perfect time to visit Cal. Like the deals and love your wheels. Yeah, I'm a little over my head here. We can certainly take care of that for you. When you're looking for a company that's noteworthy, look no further. Call your friends at Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing and spend your time doing more important things. Prosser Digestive Health Center is now offering gastroenterology services daily, including weekends. 
board-certified gastroenterologist Dr. Jack Brandeber provides the full spectrum of digestive health care. His services include colon cancer screenings, treatment for swallowing problems, inflammatory bowel disease, liver disorders, and more. To schedule an appointment, call Prosser Digestive Health Center at 509-786-5599 or learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. Friday. Stage fright. John Lithgow plus actor Carrie Elwes. All April on Kelly, the stars have a line. Every weekday shines. Yay. Watch Kelly today at 4 and 4 News Now at 5. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Tire Store. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Welcome back. The time is now 6.15. Overnight, Israel retaliated against Iran. There are reports of at least one explosion in a city 200 miles north of Iran's capital. It comes five days after Iran fired more than 300 drones and missiles at Israel, nearly all of which were intercepted and downed with the help of the U.S. ABC's Perry Russell is in Washington, D.C. with the latest information and newly released video of the retaliatory strikes. In video posted online, these flashes in the sky show Iran's air defense in action. A senior U.S. official telling ABC News Israeli missiles hit a site in Iran. This could potentially, it has clear potential to spark a major confrontation between Iran and Israel. Iranian state media reporting an explosion was heard in a city outside of Isfahan, not far from a major military base and nuclear facility adding the nuclear facility was not damaged. <laughs> Hours before the attack, Israel's defense minister saying, Israel has the freedom of action to do what it wants. Oil prices rising overnight. 20% of the world's oil passes through the Hormuz Straits, uh, right there on the, the very southern tip of Iran. And um, th this, will, this could certainly impact the flow of trade, the flow of oil, and cause even more unrest in other places around the world. Commercial flights were suspended over several Iranian cities, including the capital of Tehran. Airports are now back to normal operations. After sunrise, video from Isfahan shows life continuing, with morning traffic moving. The White House has been urging Israel to show restraint in hopes of preventing a larger war, saying if Israel did strike, they would do so alone. Perry Russom, ABC News, Washington. Here is your live look. The sun has risen and it Ooh. is beautiful right now. Get your sunglasses out if you're mm -hmm. driving into work. But then you step outside and go, ooh, that's chilly. Yeah, it temperatures yeah, it is. Is just above <laughs> freezing right now. Um, 56 will be our high today. 57 to 58 is a normal high. So, yeah, we're going to be right there if we round up a little bit. Gust to 20 miles an hour, though, when it comes to the winds. Winds calming down overnight, mostly clear. Another frosty start tomorrow morning. And then we're going to see things start to warm up. Right now, 34 in Deer Park, 31 into Cheney and into Hayden. You're sitting at 32 degrees. So, yeah. There's cold weather out there, no doubt about it. When we look at what we can expect, here's our forecast radar and a few high thin clouds. That's going to be about it. We're going to see uh, Saturday some changes. All right. So through the day, it's going to be beautiful, warm air dammed in front of what will be another front coming in that will bring in scattered rain showers for Saturday night into early Sunday morning. That pushes out Sunday sun and clouds, um, maybe some breezy conditions there, but it's not looking too bad. 56 will be our high today. It's going to be that into Colville. We're going to have temperatures nearing 58 or 60 in around uh, the Palouse into the LC Valley at 66. So so, really, I mean, not bad. Here's a look at the planning forecast. The majority of it is really nice. Um, so today, the sunshine, a few clouds Saturday, 64. Early morning rain showers to partly cloudy in the afternoon, 57 Sunday. And then 61 on Monday, mostly sunny, looking beautiful. Partly cloudy Tuesday, Wednesday, but highs in the upper 60s with overnight lows well above freezing. This weekend, it's important for several reasons. Uh, first of all, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So they're going to be golfing. There's going to be pickleball played. But also, it's time for you to think about the baseball field in your area. There's one that needs to be reworked redone, rebuilt, and rehabbed. And it is the call for entries. Your deadline is Sunday night, and we really want to see 
every possible field out there that needs help. You can go to KXOI.com under Extreme Team and you'll see the uh, Diamonds and Dreams tab. 200 words or less, picture if you have it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we're looking to pick a field next week. Yeah. We want to have Ooh. all those options in front of us. Get your entries in. That's for sure. All right, it is now 619. Soon the Washington State Cougars will wrap up spring practice. And for kicker Dean Janikowski, this will mark the beginning of the end of his college career. But his motivation goes far beyond the football field. The all Pac-12 kicker talks some about something bigger than football. That's coming up next. Thanks so much for waking up with Good Morning Northwest on your Friday morning. We'll be back after this quick break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. What makes Hospice of Spokane unique is their level of dedication to the patient. We try to wrap our services around the patient and the family. Your team feels like our team. That's how much we know you care about making sure patients and families get what they need. We, we go, I feel like, above and beyond for the hospice patients to make that last journey of life comfortable. Trends come and go, but luxury is always in style. Now is your chance to buy beautiful Care Stand flooring at a price you can afford. During National Care Stand Month, you can save on Care Stand flooring. Elevate your decor with the designs and quality of Care Stand carpet, or choose from Care Stand's Luxcraft luxury vinyl tile collections. Don't miss your chance to live beautifully with Care Stand. Hurry in now to Skelton's Carpet One in Lewiston. It's the Spring Tune-Up event at Cal Cars in Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene, where we are giving away $600 of free upgrades with every vehicle sold, like custom grills, light bars, and wheels, so you can customize your ride this week in Cal. This is not just laundry. This is laundry that's one and done. This is the ultra-fast combo laundry machine that does both washing and drying cycles. This is revolutionizing laundry. This is GE Profile. Fred's has the GE Profile one and done laundry machine in stock and on sale for only $24.99. Fred's Appliance. We sell appliances, only appliances. It's Click It RV's huge spring cleaning liquidation event. Now extended through the end of April at the old Newport Cinemas. There's huge savings on motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and more. With super low interest rates. Zero down and no payments until September. And our trade-up program gets you up to 4000 above book. Enter to win 30000 in cash. Or a new 2023 StarCraft trailer. So beat the spring rush and don't miss this huge spring cleaning liquidation event. Now extended through the end of April. One mile past the Y at the old Newport Cinemas. Right now, there's just so much happening in our world. And so much happening. Right here in the Northwest. Making sense of it all, that's not always so easy. And that's where we come in. Good morning, Northwest, and good morning, America. We're right here, and we got you. We got you, Northwest. Welcome back. The time is now 622. More than two years ago, Washington State kicker Dean Janikowski lost his mother to breast cancer. And since then, he's helped raise tens of thousands of dollars to help others who have been affected by breast cancer. And now, as Dean gets ready to enter his final season in Pullman, he told Alex Crescenti he wants to continue that work on and off the field. I think it's been about a year and a half since we last talked to you. In that time, how has your life changed? How is more than a kick the Heather Janikowski Foundation? How has that all changed? It's been really cool. We've met about five different people that we were able to help. We donated a lot of money to them. So being able to like learn their story, meet them has been super cool. Being busy, especially in the off season and stuff like that, having the time to meet and help out and kind of game plan what we want to do, especially meeting for these kick and cancer event that's coming up and all that, it's been super busy. You've been able to raise more money in the state of Washington mm -hmm. than from the state of California where you are originally from. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. and just in Pullman too. So not even, because California, we're a pretty broad range, kind of SoCal area, but just in this small town Pullman has been way more money. So what's that mean to you to see you're not originally from this state, but people pouring in the support for you over the last few years? I think it just shows too, like when I made that first choice was just like, they had open hands for me or open arms. So like they were always welcome to me. So like when that happened, I just knew and it's been so, so awesome to meet all these people, all these farmers and different people, especially the ones that need it and be able to help their story out and just seeing how like, 
how small this world really is because there's been a lot of people interconnected. I just met last week some person that used to work in California and used to be, I believe he was a mechanic, so he used to work on my mom's car like whenever there was issues at Chevy and now he lives up here and he's like, oh yeah, Heather was great. I remember her. I can't wait to go to your event. And I'm like, wow, that's so amazing. Now you're coming to your sixth year. You have to feel like the old guy now, right? Yeah, me and KT are the grandpas. We're in our master's program. We're just, you can tell for sure when you're getting older, like now I can kind of understand like I can't kick a football as many times as I used to be able to. I'm starting to feel it a little bit more. It's, it's funny. So yeah, we get the grandpa jokes all the time. With more than a kick, you're going to continue that into this final year. Yep. I assume, you know, that's some extra motivation for, you know, your last year of college football. What are your goals going into 2024? Just keep raising more money and as well as keep doing well because if I keep playing well then I'll be able to go to the NFL and then I'll be able to do more than a kick in the NFL so hopefully raise even more money so the better I play the more money we can raise and that's kind of my goal and just keep having fun with it it's been so fun being able to help these people out hear these stories and just kicking well is always fun too and Dean will host his second annual kicking cancer event tonight at Zeppo's in Pullman which will feature a bowling tournament and auctions with the proceeds going toward the Heather Janikowski Foundation. That's so special. I Good hope for he him. does make it to the NFL and for many many years we can raise money. That would be so fun. Well, your Good Morning Northwest time is 625. Uh, bringing necessities within walking distance. That is the goal for one new potential grocery store in North Central Spokane where the new shop could pop up. Plus, gunfire erupts next to Shadle Park High School last night as police shoot a man. After the break, we'll check back in with Allison Martinez, who's live with the latest overnight developments. And before we send you off to a break, here's a first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America at 7. <laughs> In this morning's GMA First Look, tennis pro Danielle Collins was a rising star. Ranked 15th in the world. Miami Open presented by Itaú singles champion Danielle Collins. Opening up about her health struggles off the court. I think inflammatory diseases, they don't discriminate. At the time, I, I didn't know what to think. I, I thought, oh my gosh, is this, is this the end of my career? It felt like my career was over. It felt like... When we were talking about the treatment options, it seemed like an uphill battle that was going to be really hard to fight. And her hopes for the future. And I know people think of tennis as the dream, but is being a mom a dream for you as well? Yeah, being a mom is one of my biggest dreams outside of the court. And we'll have much more coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. You'll love this. Centrum Silver is clinically proven to support memory in older adults. So you can keep saying, you mastered it. You fixed it. You nailed it. You did it. With Centrum Silver, clinically proven to support memory in older adults. Man. Dad. That smell could be 8 million odor-causing bacteria. Good thing adding Lysol Laundry Sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria that detergents leave behind. Clean is good. Sanitized is better. At Simply Safe, your safety is the only thing that matters. Introducing 24/7 lifeguard protection only from Simply Safe. This exclusive technology allows Simply Safe agents to help stop crime in real time by speaking through the smart alarm indoor camera. Stop. This is Simply Safe. Police are on their way. For instant intruder deterrence and faster police response. Police have arrived. Your home is safe. Now install our advanced system your way. Have a pro set it up or easily do it yourself. There's no safe. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. For 27 years, our promise has been to save you green. Don't settle for the screen. See it in your space. At Floor Trader, you'll find more samples and more selection in one place. This weekend at Floor Trader, all of Cortex waterproof, kid proof, and pet proof flooring comes with free basic install. For over 30 years, we've been keeping you warm. Or cool, but now we are taking you to the next level of innovation. Fireplaces, sleek modern design, or traditional electric, efficient and trendy. Lighting, permanent decorative year-long lighting providing security as well as beauty. These are just some of the ideas we are bringing to you for the next level at Holiday Heating, Cooling and Electric. We call it Holiday Innovation. Call us today. It's the once a year spring tune-up event this week at the Cal Superstores at Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene. 
Hi, I'm George, and I'm offering great deals on over 300 of the best rigs in the region. And this weekend, when you purchase a vehicle from Cal, you can get up to $600 in free upgrades, like light bars, custom grills, or tires and rims to customize your ride, making it the perfect time to visit Cal. Like the deals and love your wheels. Don't settle for the screen. See it in your space. At Floor Trader, you'll find more samples and more selection in one place. This weekend at Floor Trader, all of Cortex waterproof, kid proof, and pet proof flooring comes with free basic install. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. We are kicking off this half hour with the 4 News Now Story Tracker. Now is the time to rid your cabinets of some unused prescriptions and expired medications. Today is a national clean out your medicine cabinet day. It's meant to raise awareness about the dangers of keeping out of date prescriptions or over the counter medications. They've been linked to addiction, overdoses and poisonings. Many pharmacies offer free drop off and disposals for those expired medications. Today is Washington Trust Bank's free shred day. You can pick up your seal and shred bag at any of the Washington Trust locations that you see there on your screen. They're all open from nine to five. Then you'll take it home, fill the bag with your documents and drop it off at DeVries Business Services. If you missed any of those locations, we do have the full list of drop off locations under this story on KXLY.com. Well, here's another reminder for you. Today's the last day for you to order a goat and send it off to a friend. Wishing Star Foundation's adorable baby goats will make appearances across Spokane and Coeur d'Alene the next week. Or next week, it costs 75 bucks, and the foundation says the fundraiser has raised more than 700 thousand for kids over the years and just for clarification you don't get to keep the goat no you no, just no, get no. to take some pictures with it and hang out with it for a little it's while it's pretty sweet so cute yeah <laughs> well thanks so much for starting your day with us i'm natalie grant and i'm robin nance it is friday april 19th we want to get you over to mark to check out our first solar forecast yeah we're not kidding around when it comes oh, to goats but good one. there you go <laughs> good morning um, sunny and 34 degrees currently. It, it really nary a cloud to be seen. It's sunny and 32 into Coeur d'Alene. So, yeah, it's a cool start, cooler than average. Going to be sunny and breezy later on today. Beautiful Saturday on tap. Showers coming in Saturday night, but not hanging out for long. And it'll be a drier, cooler Sunday than Saturday. We look at our forecast radar today. It's going to be clear skies all the way through noon into the afternoon. Beautiful dinner time, 6 o'clock. Great. Now, we get into Saturday. We we see a few clouds bumping around, but it's Saturday night, about 8 o'clock, we start to see the increased chance of shower activity. Then that pushes through early Sunday morning. About 3 a.m. should be a done deal. The Spokane Lilac Loons will be out uh, painting out the lilacs on the street. That's going to happen Sunday morning. They're hoping everything dries out by that time. 30 currently in the valley, 34 into Deer Park, also into Spangle. You're sitting at 34. It's freezing in Cheney. We look at temperatures to warm up to 56 with sun. Sunshine all day long. Mark, thanks. We continue to follow some breaking news this morning. The crime scene tape came down within the last hour at the scene where a Spokane police officer shot a man at Shadle Park High School. It happened yesterday evening during a baseball game at Shadle Park. According to SPD, officers chased the man away from the game to a parking lot right next to a running track. Coaches rushed student athletes off the field when gunshots rang out. Allison Martinez is live from that parking lot. And Allison, um, you've learned some new information overnight. Yes, that's right. Now, good morning. In the last hour, police have cleared out from this area near Shadle Park High School, so you shouldn't expect to see any delays as you make your way through the area. Now, many people in this community are shaken up after what was a terrifying incident. I want to show you how close this was to the actual high school. This parking lot you see right here is where police chased and eventually shot the man on the other side of that fence right there is the field here at Chittle Park High School where many students were actively practicing. Now, according to the Spokane Police Department, we do have some more information about that man who was shot. We'll get that to that right now. Now, this all began on North Lindakee, and that suspect pulled a knife and eventually shot a tow truck driver. Officers tracked him down to Shadle Park High School, where they first tried to make contact with him, but he ran away. The police chased him away from the fields before opening fire. 
Well, it's absolutely concerning. Uh, we have a, a situation that happens on North Lindakey where a subject threatens someone with a knife, um, then then discharges the firearm in a, in a neighborhood, and then for that same individual uh, to show up who is armed you know, on a school campus, abs absolutely is of concern. Police say three officers fired their guns and they recovered a gun next to the suspect. It's not known if the suspect fired a shot at police. I said, was that gunfire? And the officer putting up the tapes like, get back inside. And, and so in I went, but we were watching the ambulances, the fire trucks, and of course saw the high school coaches rushing the kids off the track. No bystanders were hurt, and the suspect is undergoing surgery for life-threatening gunshot wounds. Now, we have learned new information about this man. He did have previous felony convictions and was banned from carrying or possessing a firearm. He was involved in a shooting just late last year where he did unlawfully fire a gun. We'll be sure to bring you more information as soon as it becomes available. Reporting live in Spokane, Allison Martinez for News Now. Allison, thanks so much. And this is the fifth shooting involving Spokane police officers within the first four months of 2024. One on the South Hill in January near Stevens and West Cliff Drive. Two on February 12th. One in North Spokane near Nevada and Wellesley, the other downtown. And one in West Central, March 31st. Each of those shootings were deadly. And this morning, new information on a deadly police shooting in 2022. Spokane police now say a man they shot and killed pointed a gun at officers first. SPD released new details on the moments leading up to the shooting of 41-year-old Robert Bradley, which have been a mystery now for more than 19 months. You're about to see the newly released body camera footage from that night, and we do want to warn you it may be difficult to watch. Police say officers responded to the scene to serve a 41-year-old Robert Bradley paperwork to surrender firearms because of the nature of this call. Bradley having an AR-15. They say they were cautious. Corporal Chris Johnson had an AR-15 rifle and two detectives behind him had handguns drawn just in case. They found Bradley on the passenger side of his van out back. They asked to see his hands and that's when they say Bradley reached for a gun. Okay, police, let me see both your hands. Let me see both hands. Robert's movements were consistent with someone, someone taking a slightly crouched shooting stance and presenting and or aiming a pistol. Police shot Bradley. They say he fell and began crawling towards his gun and police fired more rounds. They put him in handcuffs and then immediately applied life-saving measures. To read more of our in-depth reporting on this case, you can look for this story on KXLY.com. New details in the University of Idaho murders case. One of the victim's families is reacting to Brian Koberger's recently released alibi. Koberger's lawyers have said he often drove around late at night. The state criticized the alibi as vague and asked for more detail. Wednesday, Koberger's defense filed documents submitting his alibi. They say he was out driving in the early morning hours of November 13th when the murders happened, but he did not travel east on the Moscow Pullman Highway and therefore could not be the person in the car captured on video and linked to the murders. In response, the Gonsalves family released a statement on Facebook saying in part, it is so hard not knowing anything about the case and you find you have to cling to dates, motions and hearings in order to figure out anything. A big part of this has been waiting on the alibi information. Now that it is here, we feel even more confident in the prosecution of the defendant. We continue to look forward to justice in this case. The Gonzalez family goes on to say that they do not think Koberger's alibi has any weight and claim that it contradicts a previously submitted probable cause affidavit. There could be soon a new grocery store within walking distance for people in North Central Spokane. A new potential owner wants to add grocery store in the Emerson Garfield neighborhood. The city planning department is considering a proposal at the corner of Howard and Mansfield. Miller Dental's laboratory owner Ron Miller is ready to retire after decades. He's selling the building to Ramka Properties LLC. Potential buyer Dave Nagra says the community needs a grocery store within walking distance and neighbors agree. I think it's a great spot for it. We could totally use one around here, for sure. Now, the permit application has been submitted to the city. The agency and the city department are now reviewing that proposal.
Good morning, Northwest Times, now 638. Let's check back in with Mark Peterson here as you're heading out the door. Definitely want to grab a jacket and maybe some sunglasses. Yes, yeah, some light layers, the sunglasses. I'd be, I'm very sensitive to the light. Me I love too. It. It's gorgeous mm -hmm. out there. Um, we're going to have temperatures around freezing as you head out the door this morning. But look at that. you got plenty of blue sky and sunshine. Your full forecast coming up. Spokane's Big Cat Center is on the hunt for a new home. How you could weigh in on their new location for cattails. That's coming up. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. Kylie and I know there's a lot of great choices for new and pre-owned cars in North Idaho. And we want Parker Subaru to be your first choice. Not only do we have a great selection of Subarus, we have an award-winning service center, now open seven days a week. Because we are committed to keeping you satisfied long after the purchase. Visit us online at parkersubaru.com or stop by and visit us at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. For over 90 years, the McVeigh Brothers family has been installing the very best in roofing, siding, and windows made for the Inland Northwest. Last year, our 6,000 series Coeur d'Alene windows earned the 2024 Energy Star Most Efficient Award, beating some manufacturers by 20%. So this week, we're celebrating by matching your energy rebate up to $10 per square foot with every window sold. At McVeigh Brothers, we're always working for you. A lot of my friends were overdosing, and we didn't know why. And like little we knew, it was fentanyl. Last year, I got caught up and went to prison. I really think addiction is a disease because it gets in your head. Every day is hard, but I have good strength. Other people give me strength by being there for me, not judging me. One word can change the story. My word is strength. It's the once a year spring tune-up event this week at the Cal Superstores in Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene. Hi, I'm George, and I'm offering great deals on over 300 of the best rigs in the region. And this weekend, when you purchase a vehicle from Cal, you can get up to $600 in free upgrades, like light bars, custom grills, or tires and rims to customize your ride, making it the perfect time to visit Cal. Like the deals and love your wheels. We're starting a movement. Well, technically a don't movement. Because we work hard and want to relax hard. It's the Lazy Boy Best Comfort on Earth sale. Save 25% on everything. Lazy Boy. Long live the lazy. KXLY Plus can now also be seen over the air on KXLY ABC4. Live updates, breaking news, weather every 10 minutes from the 4 News Now team. Get up to date on the information you need weekdays at 11 a.m. KXLY ABC4. Now soon, tigers like that one could be roaring in a different part of town. Cattails Wildlife Center has been at its spot in Mead since the 90s, but with the need to expand, it could soon move. Tomorrow, Cattails will host its first gala in 20 years, aimed at raising crucial funds and asking the public for input on a potential location change. A PhD student put together the proposed design, which would move the facility to Colbert. If you're interested, you'll get a say on Saturday. Tickets for the gala are still on sale. You can buy them online at cattails.org. Cool. All right, we have a cold start, and we have a clear morning. It's beautiful out there. You're going to need some layers, and again, the sunglasses. We're not going to have the cloud cover we had yesterday. We're going to have a high today of 56 degrees. It's 642, bringing a bit of joy from Denmark to the here of the Inland Northwest, how one co-working space is promoting happiness and meaningful connections to improve your workday. That's coming up next. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. With local utility rebates and massive tax credits available, it's now possible to upgrade to a heat pump for less than a traditional air conditioner. Heat pumps are far more efficient than air conditioners when it comes to heating and cooling your home. Get year-round comfort with higher efficiency, all while lowering your monthly utility bills. So don't be fooled into buying outdated air conditioning technology. Upgrade to a heat pump. The smart choice for smart homeowners. Call Bills Heating and AC today for your free estimate.
Huh. Never a doubt. See our great selection of Tundras with backup assist technology and other advanced features at Parker Toyota in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. We rent china, glassworks, tents, barbecues, flatware, linens, dance floor, staging, tables, chairs. A to Z rental. Right no job, job too big, no job too small. Jackhammers, stand doors, washers, stump burner saws, generators, skid steer, excavator, dingoes, trailers, tractors, nailers, staplers, hole diggers, tillers, mowers, yard vac, aerators. Call A to Z rental at 509-924-2000 or go to rentatoz.com. We rent everything, man. Now open in Airway Heights. At A to Z rental, we rent everything. Hi, I'm Matt Gray with 4 News Now. For families with teenagers, here are some tips that could teach them more about money management. Get a check register and enter a set amount of money in it like it was a paycheck from a job. Then walk them through what to deduct if they were living on their own. Car payments, rent, food costs, and internet. And give them options of buying some fun things, too. Have them work through those deductions to get an idea of what bills should be paid first. There are lots of great ways to teach your kids about money. For more tips, go to BECU.org. It's the once-a-year spring tune-up event this week at the Cal Superstores at Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene. Hi, I'm George, and I'm offering great deals on over 300 of the best rigs in the region. And this weekend, when you purchase a vehicle from Cal, you can get up to $600 in free upgrades, like light bars, custom grills, or tires and rims to customize your ride, making it the perfect time to visit Cal. Like the deals and love your wheels. 4 News Now is brought to you by Consigned Furniture. Welcome back. The time is now 645. Denmark is one of the happiest countries in the world. And the Inland Northwest Company is trying to bring some of that joy here. Located on Moulter Road in Liberty Lake, Mode is a new co-working space where you can get your work done while building some meaningful connections. If it's, it's an office space, a yoga studio, gym, and an elementary school all in one. The idea is to allow people to get everything they need done under one roof. The founder says he was inspired by his Scandinavian culture. A family can truly connect, a mom can come, and while the girl's at ballet, she can go to yoga all at the same time. And, uh, and then that even connects to the co-working space where you can come into work while your kid's upstairs, go to lunch, all on the same premises. The mode has all kinds of membership options depending on each person's needs. You can check out how to check this place out on our website, kxly.com. Hey, we have something big coming up. All right, Diamonds and Dreams, our 10th year, we believe. Um, Sounds good. There's right. a way to look it up. I just didn't. Um, we, we kept records, but we need the call for entries. Mm -hmm. We really want to know about all those baseball fields that need help, you know, in the small communities, things like that. Just go to KXOI.com uh, under Extreme Team and Diamonds and Dreams with your hometown Chevy dealers. You guys do such a good job, too. Oh, the my gosh. look amazing. I can't wait for it's, this next one. We look forward to it every year. Mm -hmm. We always have a great but time. It's fun. You have been looking forward to a change in the weather. It's happening. Let's get to that. And well, today we're going to have a high today of 56. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's not skip. Uh, 56 degrees, going to be sunny. It'll be breezy in the morning hours. The afternoon looks to be a little better. We're going to have those winds gusting to 30 miles an hour at times. Tonight, it's going to be clear, cool, calm, 33 degrees for the overnight low. As we look at our current conditions, uh, Deer Park here at 34, at 32 in Dachini. Downtown, it's 31 degrees, but Liberty Lake holding on to some of the heat at 37 degrees. Not looking too bad. Spangle, you're at 35. So again, cool to cold, and we're going to see warming temperatures come in, especially over the weekend. Certainly Sunday morning will be better than tomorrow morning. Now, we have a fairly clear sky expected by 5 o'clock. Get into the evening hours. Again, clear, cold for Saturday morning. And then we'll see things, well, warm up. It's going to be great. We're going to have, uh, again, variable clouds, mostly sunny conditions. And then we're going to see this. This is going to be that energy that's going to be on to the west side. That's going to be Saturday midday if you're over there, heading over to Seattle. Uh, wet weather there. But then it tracks back here about 9 o'clock at night. Should be a done deal by about 3 o'clock in the morning. It continues to have variable clouds Sunday, but dry and maybe breezy at times. So... 
Our gusty winds look to be certainly into the central plains. Those are sustained winds forecast 20 miles an hour in Ritzville. That's going to be 10, 11 o'clock. And then things are going to calm down and everybody calms down by Saturday. It's looking pretty good. Still breezy conditions on the east slopes of the Cascades. 56 will be our high today. Colville, you're right there. 59 in Ritzville. We're going to be in the low uh, in OMAC, low 60s, mid 60s into Moses Lake, and then near 70 into areas of the Tri-Cities we warm as we head south. If you're heading into Montana, cold, and there's some snow into the central and eastern side of the Big Sky State. I know, April 19th. Um, 64 on Saturday, 57 with, again, afternoon, partly cloudy conditions. Uh, Monday, it's Earth Day. Plant a tree. Think about Mother Nature. 61, recycle something. Um, just have some fun. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, upper 60s, and then Thursday, 63. So um, all of next week will be above average, Ooh. and that's going to be great news. Yes, the news so, we love to see. You get your shred bag today, fill it up, and then Monday you could drop it off mm -hmm. at DeVries, and there you've done something for Mother Earth. There you go. Good stuff. Just a couple ideas. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Well, your Good Morning Northwest time right now, 649. Thanks so much for waking up with Good Morning Northwest. On your Friday, we have your morning sprint coming up right after this. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by STCU Best of Broadway. Catch all the action at Caesar Sportsbook, located inside Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino, the area's largest sportsbook. Bet your favorite games live as they happen with in-play betting or place bets ahead of time with the Bet Ahead feature. Only at Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. You just win here. Hi, welcome to Coeur d'Alene Honda. Thank you. I've been coming to Coeur d'Alene Honda for years, and they always treat me just like family here. Our customers love how easy it is to do business with us. We have Hondas that fit everyone's budget. Awarded Dealer of the Year and rated 4.7 on Google. All new Hondas and select pre-owned come with our nationwide lifetime warranty. Plus, all new Hondas come with two years free maintenance. Which Honda would you prefer? Coeur d'Alene Honda with the lifetime warranty at no additional cost to you or the other guys? Don't forget about our lifetime warranty. <coughs> 44 working part-time. It was my first mammogram and they found a few cancerous places in my left breast. I didn't have any symptoms. I didn't feel sick. I didn't have a lump in my breast. I did there was nothing. I wasn't afraid I was gonna die. My first fear was how am I gonna tell my daughter? As a result of early detection, I didn't have to do chemotherapy. I just did surgery and radiation. You know, was able to maintain a good quality of life and, and now it's a distant memory. Being a Reardon bus driver is incredibly rewarding. It's hard work with a lot of responsibility. But it's also amazing to be the first and last Reardon staff member that many students see every day. If you're seeking a supportive team, competitive wages, and the opportunity to make a lasting impact, look no further than Reardon, where every student is known, loved, and learning. Our spring savings event is happening now at George Gee Kia Spokane. Shop 170 new Kias in stock with more arriving daily. Take advantage of spring savings and lease a new Kia EV6 light long range all wheel drive SUV for just $299 a month. Lease a new Kia Sportage Hybrid LX for just $399 a month. Visit the George Gee Kia team in Liberty Lake off I-90 or online anytime at SpokaneKia.com. All the action at Caesar Sportsbook, located inside Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino, the area's largest sportsbook. Bet your favorite games live as they happen with in-play betting, or place bets ahead of time with the Bet Ahead feature. Only at Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. You just win here. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. The time right now is 6.52. Time to get you ready to take on your Friday in the morning sprint. We oh. have plenty of sunshine today. Mark Peterson has your weekend forecast. But first, breaking overnight. Spokane police shot a man at Shale Park High School yesterday evening. Let's get to Allison Martinez live with the breaking details.
We have new information after a man was shot by police right here at Shadow Park High School. This all began when the man shot and stabbed the tires of a tow truck driver who is trying to repossess his car. Police officers developed probable cause and chased the man through the area to this parking lot right outside of Shadow Park High School where three officers shot at the man. Now that man is currently recovering from life-threatening gunshot wounds. He did undergo surgery. Now school is continuing as normal this morning. We're seeing several students making their way into, into Shadle Park High School. There are no delays in this area. Now we will be sure to bring you more information on this story as soon as it becomes available, but of course, no delays for now. And more breaking news this morning. A U.S. official confirms an Israeli airstrike or strike rather caused explosions in Iran this morning. That comes at hours after Iran warned it would retaliate in response to such an attack. Iran says it could even revise its nuclear policies if Israel threatens its nuclear centers. In our first alert forecast on this Friday morning, it's clear now and it will be clear throughout the day. In fact, we get into the noon hour and the afternoon. Everything looks beautiful to wrap up this week. We're going to start to see the increased clouds and then showers coming in Saturday night. And that's going to take us through early Sunday morning. And then Sunday should be a dry day as well. Things are looking pretty good. Currently, it's chilly out. I mean, we have 49 mile, but 32 into Cheney and 35 into Post Falls. Things are going to start warming up nicely because we have sunshine. Our high today is going to be sunny in 56. Bring new information on a deadly police shooting in 2022. You're about to see the newly released body camera footage from that night. We want to warn you, it might be difficult to see. Spokane police say a man they shot and killed pointed a gun at officers first. They say officers responded to the scene to serve 41-year-old Robert Bradley paperwork to surrender firearms. Because of the nature of the call, Bradley having an AR-15, they say they were cautious. Corporal Chris Johnson had an AR-15 as well, and two detectives behind him had handguns drawn just in case. They found Bradley on the passenger side of a van out back. They asked to see his hands. That's when they say he reached for a gun. Officers shot him. To read more of our in-depth reporting on this case, look for this story on KXLY.com. New details this morning in the University of Idaho murders case. One of the victim's families is speaking out following Brian Koberger's recently released alibi. Wednesday, Koberger's defense filed documents submitting his alibi. They say he was out driving in the early morning hours of November 13th when the murders happened. But he did not travel east on the Moscow Pullman Highway and therefore could not be the person in the car captured on video and linked to the murders. The Gonzalez family released a statement saying, now that the alibi information is here, quote, we feel even more confident in the prosecution of the defendant. You can read their full statement on KXLY.com. Right now, close to 500 Providence healthcare workers are set to strike Monday in hopes of receiving a contract with better pay and benefits. The union representing the employees says Providence responded with unattractive offers, including reduced health and dental benefits. One bargaining team member also says Providence engaged in unfair and illegal negotiations. Providence's CEO says this is simply not true. Well, it's another sign of recovery for the town devastated by wildfire. The town of Malden broke ground for a new community center. The Bab Road fire on Labor Day of 2020 destroyed 65 homes and most of the buildings in the Malden area. Once the center is complete, Mayor Dan Harwood hopes it will give people of Malden a place to come together. Mayor Harwood says this is the last and most important building that they need to rebuild. We want to remind victims of the Gray and Oregon Road fires you have until tomorrow to apply for FEMA assistance. FEMA encourages anyone wanting to apply to visit the disaster recovery centers in Medical Lake and Elk. For more information on assistance, visit kxy.com. Find this story. It's on our front page. Well, today is Washington Trust Bank's free shred day. You can pick up your seal and shred bag at any of the Washington Trust locations on your screen. That's at Indiana, Lincoln Heights, Northgate, Post Falls, Sullivan, and Valley Financial. They're all open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Then you'll take home that bag, fill it with your documents, and drop it off at DeVries Business Services. If you miss any of the locations, don't worry. We have a list of all the drop-offs under this story on kxly.com. We have an important recall alert for you this morning. Take a close look inside your refrigerator. Trader Joe's is voluntarily recalling organic basil from the Infinite Herbs brand due to the risk of salmonella contamination. 
The tainted products were sold in 29 states. The brand of basil is no longer available at Trader Joe's and customers are advised to return it to the place of purchase for a refund. You can find more information on cdc.gov. We'll check in with Mark one last time this hour and your forecast for the weekend. We'll be right back. A lot of injury attorneys you see on TV aren't even based around here. They could be in Texas, California. Or even worse, Florida. You never know where they are when you call. Unless, of course, you call us, the advocates. After a car crash, local representation matters. Yeah, good luck trying to get personal attention from a thousand miles away. And luck just doesn't cut it when you're dealing with big insurance companies. Call the advocates. We're here for you, not way over there for you. Injured? You deserve an advocate. It's the spring tune-up event at Cal Cars in Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene, where we are giving away $600 of free upgrades with every vehicle sold, like custom grills, light bars, and wheels, so you can customize your ride this week in Cal. Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been North Idaho's premier flooring shop for over 30 years. From remodels to new construction, they've got your home or business covered from wall to wall. Their expert design team will work with you to find the perfect floor for your lifestyle and budget. They've got the lowest prices. From carpet and area rugs to hardwood, LVP and laminate, if you can dream it, they can floor it. Dream it. Design it. Live it. At Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls. You've worked hard all week. You've put up with rain, snow, grapple, even some thunderstorms. Now, let's put up with some sunshine. Although breezy conditions, we're going to have a high today of 56 degrees, just a little below average. And we're going to have, again, those winds calming down later on today. Now, tomorrow it's going to be better temperature-wise, 64, a little more cloud cover. Saturday night, we'll see a chance of rain showers. That's going to be 8, 9 o'clock, taking us in through the early morning hours of Sunday. 57 and then, well, next week. Come on, it's near 70 on Tuesday and Wednesday. Well, thanks so much for kicking off your Friday with us right here on Good Morning Northwest. We do appreciate it. We'll see you throughout Good Morning America for live local updates. Jim